Are you new to scleral contact lenses? They are pretty unique, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to put them in and how to take them out. Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy, with a channel that keeps your eyes healthy and your vision clear. Now, scleral contact lenses can be amazing contact lenses for some people. It can help them achieve their best vision. It will probably also be used for virtual reality contact lenses in the future. Now, due to their size and the nature of the contact lenses, it can be pretty tricky to put in your eyes and take out. Now, let's first get prepared to put the scleral contact lens in. Start off by washing your hands. Now, identify the right and the left contact lens. Now, inspect the contact lenses. Make sure they're clean, free of any lint or dust on there. Make sure there aren't any chips or cracks in the lenses because you don't want to be putting that in your eye. And before you get the contact lens ready, you want to get a mirror ready and you're going to lay it flat just like this. Now the best tool to use, especially when you're starting out, is to use a plunger or a DMV plunger. Now you're going to set the scleral lens like a bowl perfectly in the center of this plunger. And this is part of what makes scleral lenses pretty unique is you're actually going to fill it with an improved pH balanced saline solution and you're going to fill it completely full full enough to the point where the solution is about to fall out. If you don't fill it completely full like this, this increases your chances of getting a bubble between the contact and your cornea, and that bubble can cause irritation issues. It can also get in the way of the vision a little bit. Now, when you're ready to put the contact lens in, you're gonna position yourself completely parallel with the mirror or completely parallel with the floor. If you're tilted up a little bit or too far down, then the contact lens solution can fall out or you just won't get it right on the center of the eye and it'll be much harder. So make sure you're completely bent over and parallel with the mirror or the floor. Now here's a little tip a lot of people use is they'll snip or cut the bottom of the plunger off and this will create a see-through hole that will act as a guide when they're putting in the contact lens. As they're putting in the contact lens, if they are constantly looking through that hole, then they know the lens is going straight and directly on the center of the eye. So once you're ready with the contact in the mirror, let's talk about how you keep your eyelids out of the way to get the contacts in your eye. Okay, so I'm parallel here. Pretend like this is the mirror laying on your table or your counter. Now there are a couple ways to get your eyelids out of the way. So you can do it a classic way where you reach over your head, grab the top eyelid. I recommend grabbing the eyelashes, getting the eyelashes out of the way. Now you're gonna use your middle finger or your ring finger to get the bottom eyelid and the eyelashes out of the way. It can be trickier because you have to position your hand a little bit tricky, a little bit contorted to get the contact lens ready to put in your eye, but that's usually the best way that I have found. Another way is just to use one hand to control the top and bottom eyelids to get them out of the way. This one might be a little bit trickier, especially if you start flinching. It's hard to keep the eyelids open and out of the way of the contact lens, but a lot of people do it this way, especially when you start getting into your groove, it becomes easier and easier, but that's another way to do that as well. I am gonna use the method where I use one hand to get my top eyelid and lashes out of the way, and then my middle finger uses the bottom eyelid and then I have to contort my, my hand a little bit and then I'll push it on, push in a little bit and then blink and then it's right on. That easy. Now let me go over a few pro tips to make this a little bit easier just in case if you're struggling a little bit. One tip, if you're using the cut plunger and using the hole as a guide, sometimes that can be tricky when you're putting it in. It might tilt or push the lens around and you'll spill a lot of the solution. If you're having that problem, try and use a normal plunger and you can actually squeeze that plunger and stick the contact lens centered on there and let go. And that will create a suction and keep that contact lens in place. Now, one thing you have to remember is when you actually get it on your eye and you're about to close your eyelids to get the contact on there is you have to squeeze it again to let go of the contact so it's a little bit of an extra step but if you're having that problem you can try that way another tip is you really want to get those eyelids and eyelashes out of the way even if a part of an eyelid touches the contact lens it could tip the contact lens and dump out all the solution and then you're just going to have to reinsert the contact lens because you might have a bubble so really yank on those eyelids and eyelashes to get them out of the way Another tip, when you're getting really close with the scleral contact lens, that solution is gonna to touch the surface of your cornea and the temptation will be to close your eyelids then thinking that you have the contact on your eye. But 
Here's the tip, you wanna push in a little bit more. Once the contact solution hits your eye, keep pushing a little bit more and that will seed the contact onto your eye and then you can slowly close your eyelids, locking the contact onto your eye. Now taking the scleral contact lens out, we're actually gonna use a different type of plunger or suction plunger, a different tool to take them out. And they're a little bit smaller than the ones that you're gonna to use to put them in. There are usually two different types. One has a hole in there that you can actually squeeze to create a suction to squeeze onto the contact lens to get it out. And one that doesn't have a hole that you can actually kind of push and it creates a suction, kind of like pushing a suction cup onto a window or something like that, that will create its own suction. Either way, these will help you pull the contact lens out. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna use a plunger that doesn't have a hole in it. Now you're gonna push onto the contact lens to create a suction so you can actually pull the contact lens out. Now here's a tip, you do not want to put the pressure or push on the center of the contact lens. It can be really tricky to pull that contact lens out because it will create actually a lot of suction between the contact lens and your eye. You wanna position this plunger on the bottom third of the contact lens. That will help you pull or break suction from the contact to your eye so you can get it out a lot easier. So you're gonna look up a little bit to get to the bottom third of that contact a little bit easier. You're gonna push on that bottom third to create a suction and pull up and out a little bit and they'll break the suction and come out with the plunger. Or you can use the plunger with a little bit of a hole to create your own suction. So you squeeze and then push it on the bottom third of that contact, let go of the squeeze to create a suction and then you can pull it out that way. Here are a few tips if you're having a little bit trouble taking the scleral lens out. One is you can actually wet the tip of the small plunger. That might help create a little bit of suction between the plunger and the contact lens. Another one, if you're still having trouble getting the contact lens out, when you have the plunger onto the contact lens, you can slightly press on the side of the eye that will contort the eyeball a little bit, but that will help break the suction between the contact lens and the eye. If you happen to put on the plunger a little bit too high near the center of the contact lens and you can't get the contact lens out, try rolling and twisting and moving and sliding the plunger down to the bottom third of that contact lens so you can get the contact lens out. It might be tricky, but sometimes you can roll and twist it and slide it down, kind of like you would a suction cup sliding it down a window, and then you can get it into the proper position. And like I said at the beginning of the video, scleral contact lenses will possibly be used as virtual reality contact lenses. I'll have a video talking about that when I have it made. I'll put it right there so you can check that out. I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.